Hey everyone here from TunnelVision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to do object tracking in PF Track. Now this tutorial is slightly more advanced than the previous object tracking that I've uploaded. So um, yeah, let's start tracking. So this is the clip that we're going to track and um, first of all we're going to create an edit camera node. So I'm just going to right click on that footage and then I'm going to go to edit camera and I'm just going to connect that to my footage like that. And um, I'm not going to change anything here. It's actually, I'm just going to leave it default. It's just creating a camera basically. And secondly, we're going to create a user track node. So I'm going to right click and then I'm going to go to user track. So I'm going to go to the first frame and then I'm going to create some user tracks. And these tracks will actually just be helpers when we're doing the geometry track. So I'm going to click on create and uh, then I'm just going to find some points. So let's start with this C at the top. So I'm just going to drag this around. And um, then at the bottom, I can just fine tune it, just put it on that edge of the C. And um, I'm going to change the deformation to rotate, scale and skew. And then we're going to set this as default, click yes. And then we're going to track forward. Okay, so that first track is looking good. And we want to try and create about 10 tracks or so. Um, that should be enough. So I'm going to click on create again. And uh, this time, let's do one here at the bottom on this white text and then I'm going to track forward. Okay, create another one. Let's do one here right at the top on this white edge. Let's track backwards. Okay, then another one on this side also on this white and black edge. All right, so I'm just going to run through here quickly and create a couple more uh, user tracks. Okay, so we've got our 10 user tracks and they're all looking good. So the next step is to actually create a 3D model of our object or a very basic shape that we're going to use in our 3D application. Now, if you have an OBJ that you're going to use to track, you can skip this step. But um, for this tutorial, I'm just going to show you guys how to actually create that from scratch with NPF track. So I'm going to right click and then I'm going to go to image modeling and I'm going to click on image modeling. And um, this is basically just where we're going to create that basic shape. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click on this cube and it's going to create a very basic cube for me. And then under vertex editing, I'm going to click on move and I'm going to start moving these vertices around. So it's just covering the object um, that I'm tracking. So really simple because it's a box. It's pretty easy. Now, as I mentioned before, you can use an OBJ when you're doing the geometry tracks. But yeah, for this, I'm just going to create that. And um, that's basically that. Now you can always rename your object. So I'm going to just double click here and I'm going to call this box. And uh, next we're going to do our geometry track. So I'm going to right click on image modeling and uh, then I'm going to select geometry track. And let's just connect that to our image modeling. And um, this is basically where you can either load your OBJ file if you have a 3D model of the object or you can click on fetch. And this will basically just go up the tree to fetch the um, model from the image modeling tab so there you can see it's box that we renamed click on that and then click on close so there you can see there is our box and i'm just going to drop the opacity of this box so i'm going to click on mesh color and uh, then i'm just going to bring the opacity down to around 28 percent and then i'm also going to change the render style to hidden line so you can see we've got some lines or you can actually change it to this 3d checkerboard is also quite nice all right now Next, we want to import or we want to fetch our helpers as well. And these are the tracks from the user track node. So you'll see under helpers, you've got all these tracks, but they all grayed out. So I'm going to click on all or none. It's going to select all of them and then I'm going to activate them all. So just click on activate here and you'll see that those helpers are now active. And that will just help with the geometry track when we start tracking forward. Another very important thing before we start tracking, here at the bottom where it says geometry, you can either select a moving object or a moving camera. So if you tick this, then you will have a static camera with a moving object. And if you untick this, you will have a uh, static object with a moving camera. So we basically want a moving camera and not a moving object. So I'm going to untick that. And let's track forward. Okay, so our track is complete. So if I just scrub through, you can see it's actually a pretty good track. Now, if this went off slightly, you can adjust and refine this. Uh, just use this transform here at the bottom. You can translate or rotate. Just remember that you are translating or moving the camera and not the box because we um, untick this moving object. So everything you do here, you're going to move the camera. So it might be slightly tricky to readjust it. 
and if you readjust a frame just do a refine in between those other two sections or between those keyframes and next what we want to do is we want to orient our scene so i'm going to right click on this node and i'm going to select orient scene okay now on the orient scene i'm going to click on edit mode i'm going to click on the drop down and i'm going to select axis so i'm going to use these axes to just align my scene so i'm going to take the green line and i'm just going to align this um, on the side of this box and maybe this one just on the side and you'll see it's just going to pull that floor into position and uh, then i'm going to take the blue one and i'm going to try and just take this one here and i'm going to align the depth or like that angle of the box just try and align it like that and then this one i'm going to align on that side it's a little bit tricky here there you see that it's coming right all right and uh, then i'm going to select translate and i'm going to move my grid up and i wanted to intersect i just want to see where it's actually intersecting the object there you can see it's actually moving through the object so i know it's in the right position so i'm going to move it down right to the bottom of that object so the box is sitting on the floor all right let's just play through that quickly Okay, next you want to create an export node so i'm going to right click on orient scene and then click on export and this is basically where you will export to your favorite 3d application and that's how easy it is to do some object tracking in pf track i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial give me a thumbs up if you did and remember i upload new visual effects tutorials on a weekly basis so if you want to see more please click on that subscribe button thanks for watching cheers bye